What's up everyone, Mark here, and today we're talking about Rocky Point Park in Warwick, Rhode Island, and more specifically, the Corkscrew Roller Coaster. I've told you a bit about the park previously in my video on the Rocky Point Clam Shack, the park's legacy, which, although entirely distinct from the former park, continues to do business here in Warwick. Now, as I mentioned in that video, the park closed for good after a final season in the summer of 1996. But a decade earlier, patrons would consider the park to still be experiencing its modern peak, and ownership wouldn't have disagreed. In 1984, the park added its most expensive and advanced ride to date, purchasing a brand new loop corkscrew roller coaster from Arrow Dynamics. Arrow designed the first version of the corkscrew in the 1970s, and the first one to go into operation was at Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. The Knott's family actually negotiated to buy the prototype. It was one of the earliest steel coaster designs to introduce the now ubiquitous track system composed of formed tubular steel rails braced against a formed tubular steel spine, with cars riding smoothly on nylon wheels. This early design was notable in that it was both the world's first inverting coaster, that is the first to take riders upside down then right side up again, and also the first to do so twice in one ride. Ten more just like it were built, but all lacked a vertical loop inversion element. Enter the loop corkscrew. Although the coaster's namesake refers to the double inversion spiral riders travel through, later models have come to be defined more by their impressive vertical loop inversions, which often, as was the case for Rocky Point, became iconic symbols of not only the ride itself, but the park in which it operated. Having such a coaster was an enormous point of pride for such a small regional amusement park. As you'll notice in the newest footage a little later in this video, Rocky Point's corkscrew, one of the first to introduce the vertical loop inversion, opened to much fanfare even before it was painted or the loading station fully constructed. The coaster was painted white during the entire time it operated at Rocky Point, except of course in the very beginning, where plenty of photo and video evidence exists of it operating naked, with bare steel covered only in gray primer and fresh welds, nuts, and bolts exposed. I even remember my uncle Steve exclaiming on one trip to the park with my cousins about how the coaster was brand new but rusting already. The corkscrew operated for 13 seasons before Rocky Point closed. It led a good life there, but it was just a baby. A well-maintained steel coaster can continue to operate for 50, 60, 70 years or more, limited only by how exciting it is to ride versus how expensive it is to maintain, and Disney has some great examples of these. It's no surprise then that Rocky Point's corkscrew easily sold at auction, going to the Wild Waves theme park in Federal Way, Washington, where it continues to operate to this day, nearly 25 years later and approaching 40 years old, as Wild Thing. To end the video, I've brought together a few clips of the Rocky Point corkscrew, and each is timestamped in the description if you'd like to jump to any one of them. The first is a news excerpt from the coaster's opening in the summer of 1984. The second is a first-person POV shot by a single rider as the park rides were being prepared for auction in 1996. Lastly, you'll see a more recent first-person POV video shot of the ride operating with its current paint job as Wild Thing. Also included at the end are a couple of classic Rocky Point commercials one television ad from the 1980s, and a radio ad from the 1970s over pictures of the park I've taken myself through the years, between its closure in 1996 and the public park's reopening in late 2014. So this video is meant to be an introduction of sorts to a different kind of series I have planned for this year. Titled Down the Road, that's R-H-O-D-E, each video will delve into topics of local historical significance that I find interesting. Some of the topics I have planned include the history of Ann and Hope in Cumberland, the father of today's retail giant Walmart, and the Pasillo pig farm disaster in Coventry, where in 1977 an explosion and raging chemical fire exposed a vast illegal toxic waste dump, the discovery of which helped shape the federal regulation that brought about the Superfund program. The thing is, these videos take much more time, effort, and energy to research and put together. Although I love doing it, this does mean that those videos will be fewer and farther between than what you may have come to know as my normal videos. In order to make this series successful and interesting, I really need your help. You'd be doing me a huge favor just by commenting below with some ideas for topics you'd like to see. Tell me what you'd like about them or why they're important to you or to Rhode Island. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and tell me what you think down in the comments. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down and tell me what you think down in the comments. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. Just click the red button down below or the watermark in the corner. When you do, just be sure to hit the bell icon so you get a notification every time I release a new one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Of course, is at Rocky Point Park. And this summer, there's a new thrill ride that's getting quite a bit of action. This was the first day for anxious riders to get a look at the new roller coaster, a daredevil contraption called the Loop Corkscrew. It hurdles passengers along at 50 miles an hour. This footage shows why they call it the Corkscrew.
two of the first riders to make a habit of this sort of thing. They're members of a group who travel the nation to see roller coasters. It's a tremendously different sensation to go out of the loop, around a curve, and into your corkscrew. It's a beautiful coaster. I really love it. I'll be up here again. We're going around park to park. This is an especially important one because it's opening a new coaster. It's the first continuous corkscrew I've ever been on, and I love it. And if you're up to it, here's a final look at the new thrill ride at Rocky Point. And for Tony DiBiase, that's... you can get there with so little gas. Let's go! There's fun at the shore, rides and games and much more. It's a place for family fun. 